Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm doing a fun video, at least fun for me. So today I'm gonna be baking some um, doll and daughter matching outfits. Um, I have already cut out my pieces and everything. I've actually already pieced some of them together, but I'm gonna finish piecing together this one on camera to show you. But the patterns that I'm using are the Ellie and Mac uh, going home sweater for the doll. And I'm gonna use this as a shirt for one to match my daughter's shirt that I'm making. And I'm also gonna use it on the, the other one as a gown. And I'll show you the, the fabrics and everything. You can kind of see right here the two, the four fabrics that I'm using. The next um, pattern that I'm using is just this fleecefun.com cuffed leggings uh and i'm not making them cuffed i'm trying to make them just like normal leggings so you'll see that as well i have already cut everything out now with the leggings i didn't have a scrap piece big enough to cut the whole thing so i kind of had to cut the two pieces mirrored um and then i just added a, a little bit extra on the sides um and I, I'm gonna have to attach the two pieces together to become this piece. So I have seams in them, but I don't mind that so much. Um, and the pattern that I'm using for um, the shirts and the gown for my daughter is the uh, Ellie and Mac, uh, where is it? Uh, the Ellie and Mac uh, Raglan Kids Tee, and I'm doing the relaxed fit. Um, I tested out this pattern last week and I made her a pair of pajamas and I really like the shirt style so yeah that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna make this and I'm gonna probably not let her see them and wrap them up like a gift so I'm gonna try to get them done tonight it's around 9 55 right now everybody else is went upstairs and I'm just down here working so the fat the fabrics that I'm using today the fabrics that I'm mixing are gonna be this fabric and this fabric came from Joanne I'm sure you all have seen it I really love it um, and then this fabric here came from I want to say Hobby Lobby I believe Hobby Lobby and these are both knits of course and I'm gonna mix these two patterns because I love pattern mixing in my fabrics um, so I thought that would be really cute now for my daughter and for the doll I'm doing a shirt with this as the body um, the orange as the body, uh, this as the sleeves, and then this as the leggings. So that's the plan for this. Okay, you guys, here's voice over me. My house is extremely loud. Um, so yeah, uh, the what I'm doing right now is just showing you what I'm doing to the neckline of the doll outfit. Um, I'm not, I don't really remember what I did. It was really late that night when I was, um, sewing these. So I kind of just went through, I was trying not to talk too loud because, um, people were sleeping at first, but then around like 10 o'clock, not sleeping, people were upstairs and around like 10 o'clock or 10 30, everybody came downstairs. People were playing games, VR. It just got really loud. So I wasn't able to explain as I was doing it. But um, it's pretty self-explanatory, um, the video. Uh, so I'll pop in on parts that I think you might not understand. But right here, this is the doll shirt. And I'm just matching up that um, neckband and I'm showing you where you attach it to the center and then you attach it to each end. And um, then you're gonna stretch it as you sew. You're gonna stretch the um, neckband as you sew to make sure that it fits in the whole thing. Now, of course, it's a little different on a um, normal shirt. You would um, close up the neckband and do it that way, but it's done this way because this one will be done with either Velcro or snaps on the back and it'll be open because it's a doll sweater. So that's why I'm doing it this way. And yeah, I'm just using my pins right there to hold it. And again, showing you that you, you should stretch it as you are sewing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 
I decided to go ahead and add a few extra pins just to make it a little bit easier for me to um, sew it together because I still do struggle with um, neck um, neck bands and keeping them you know keeping all three pieces together and everything I struggle with that um, sometimes so sometimes what I actually do is I put like a basting stitch at the open end of the neck band um, just to hold those two pieces together so that when I'm sewing it to the um, neckline of the shirt, I'll only have to worry about keeping two pieces together instead of one piece together. So now it's time to close up the sides and the um, side of the sleeves um, on this little shirt. And it was pretty easy. I just used my serger and you're just going to match up the bottoms uh, to get right sides together. And then you're going to go all the way up through the um, armpit and all the way down to the end of the sleeve. And you're just going to sew or uh, serge. Um, I don't know if it's necessary to use a um, stretch like a zigzag stitch if you're using the sewing machine or not honestly I just now I just pretty much use my serger for everything so I, that's what I used um, but check the pattern um, instructions and see what it tells you to do um, right there I'm just trying to match up the underarm seams I'm pretty bad at that I'm trying to get better um, I'm taking a little more time to do it but I'm still always like just a little bit off um, right here I'm trying to decide whether I was gonna hem it before I um, attached the or closed up the um, side seam but I decided against it because this fabric doesn't fray it actually has a pretty clean um, cut so I think I had planned on just leaving it like as a raw edge or not even hemming it but I want to say I went back and hemmed it I'm not sure Okay, so I got both sides of the um, sleeves and sides closed and I'm just turning it inside out to check for any holes or gaps or anything because that sometimes happens, you know. Um, but luckily this time I don't think I got any if I can remember right. I didn't get any and I was really surprised on this small of a garment but I didn't get any holes or anything. And yeah, I went, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and finish that neckline um, right there. Those raw edges with my serger as well. Um, that I think that's what I'm looking at right there. And then um, once I do that, I'm going to come back and figure out how I want to close the back. See, I went ahead and um, finished that neckline. And I even went ahead and top stitched down um, that uh, seam. What is it seam that seam on the inside i went ahead and top stitched it down and it looks nice and i'm gonna go ahead now and figure out how i'm gonna close the back i'm gonna go ahead and trim um any loose threads that i see um and usually i would tuck the tails and everything but i honestly didn't feel like doing that on this um little doll out doll shirt so i'm just gonna go ahead like i said and cut them I don't think that I ended up um, doing those cuffs on the shirt. I'm not exactly sure. I still don't remember. I'll have to go look at the garment. But I am trying to figure out the overlap. Uh, this doll dress, I believe, does call for the Velcro, but I didn't have any. So I ended up, um, I think I'm going to end up, well, I know that I end up using snaps. Um, and it still came out cute. I wish I would have had the Velcro though because it would have been more of a clean look. But the snaps came out fine and they worked fine. So right now I'm just trying to decide on the overlap um, and figure out the overlap and which side I want, what you know, which thing to go on. And once I do that, um, I'm just gonna let it play and show you where I'm putting on the snaps. 
I am trimming off about an inch and a half from the bottom because it was a little long. I had made it a gown length for the doll, but I wanted to cut it to more of a shirt length. So I went ahead and cut that. But yeah, I'm proud of the way it looks. I really love the color combination. Um, now I have went ahead and I have um, attached those two pieces, like I said, to create that one pattern piece for the leggings. And now all I'm going to do is put those right sides together and I'm going to um, serge or sew. You can sew or serge, but I'm going to serge together um, each side of the um, leggings. And once I do that, then I'm going to open them out and I am going to uh, serge the inseam. You just do the same thing here that you did with the um, other seams. You just, I'm gonna pin them together and serge them as well. I always try to take a little extra time on um, crotch seams or inseams or whatever you wanna call it because I uh, sometimes get holes here if I try to go too fast. I'm also taking a little bit of extra time, again, to practice my crotch seams and getting them matched up or nesting the seams or what I don't know what you call it but I'm trying I'm taking a little bit of extra time to do that and um, I still think they were off on this too so that's something I still need to practice but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm just gonna let the video play uh, while uh, I sew those together and finish up these pants and I'll pop in if it's anything I need to explain on these pants but after these we will move on to the um, kid pants, the, the girl size pants. So here I am, the pants are uh, done except for the elastic waistband and I'm going to cut about a half inch, a quarter inch to a half inch off the bottom because I wanted these to be kind of like capri length for the doll. Um, I had planned to do capri length for my daughters as well um, and three quarter sleeves for the shirt but she said she preferred the longer pants so I left them long. You'll see that later on in the video. But here I am just uh, making the casing for the uh, elastic and I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that, leave a gap, feed the elastic in and then I'll be done with these pants and I'll just let you watch that.
okay so i guess i did like i said um decide to hem the bottom of these pants i did not hem the shirt um but i did hem the bottom of these pants i believe so well i know so yeah i just um turned it under about a quarter inch to a half inch i'm not exactly sure and i just um hem those up at the bottom like I said, this fabric did not fray, so it wasn't really necessary. I don't know why I took that extra step, but I did. And um, there I have um, sewn my elastic casing, and I'm gonna go ahead and feed the elastic through um, for these pants. They are really, really cute. And I was looking at them, I kept having to remember that they're for a doll and they're leggings for a doll. So I was thinking like, oh, are these too small? Will they fit? But they fit perfectly and they are really, really cute. So I, I think next time though, I will not hem it because it kind of made the bottom of the pants kind of stick out a little bit. But um, on the doll, you can't tell at all. So I'm still satisfied with the outcome. But yeah, here I am just, uh, I'm gonna feed that piece of elastic through and I kind of just took a guess as to how much elastic I would need. And uh, I'm gonna feed it through and create this uh, casing so I can finish these pants. okay so there we have it i got the pants done i love the way the waistband looks i'm proud of myself for that it i work on these a lot that's why i do a lot of pants and leggings and pajamas and things because i'm trying to get better at waistbands and neckbands so practice makes perfect and i'm just trying different things to get better at that i'm also really proud of how this um neckband came out i didn't have any problems with it and it came out looking really nice so as you can see here i went ahead and finished those raw edges um, of the doll shirt as well on my serger and now i'm going to just go ahead and again um, place it back where i wanted it for the overlap and i'm going to add in um, the snaps on um, the back of the shirt because again i didn't have any of the velcro i am going to hem up the bottom of this shirt uh, just because I didn't too much like the way that it looked at the bottom once I finished it um, once I searched those um, two seams right there or those two edges right there I didn't like the way that it looked at the bottom not being um, hemmed so I'm just going to go ahead and hem that as well and then I'm going to add these snaps on and then I would be done with the doll outfit and we can move on to my daughter's outfit Now that I have my placement just right, I'm gonna go ahead and take out my um, 
cam snap kit. I'm gonna take out my awl tool, I believe it's called, the little sharp pointy thing. And I'm gonna start um, poking my holes where I want them um, on the shirt. I think I'm gonna go one at a time because that helps me to not get confused. And I'm proud of myself this time because I didn't put the wrong pieces on uh, like sometimes I do when working with these cam snaps. Sometimes I will put two female pieces on the same side and then I have to basically either tr like try to kill myself taking it apart or I just have to throw the whole project away, which sucks, but it has happened to me twice so far. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, put those where I want them to go. And I did have the overlap coming from uh, left to left over the right. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put those cute little blue snaps all down and um, I'll show you once it's done. So now that our cute doll outfit is complete, I'm gonna set it aside and here you see me working on my daughter's matching raglan shirt. Again, this is the Ellie and Mac raglan kids shirt um, in the relaxed fit. And I already have um, my seams for the sleeves and the front and back. I have them all connected together and I'm just gonna go through and serge um, those first four um, parts together and that's what I'm doing right here in this sped up piece. I'm just going to sew those together and then we will move on to the neckband. Uh, let me pop back in here and say I think at this point I actually went ahead as well and started my leggings so I went ahead and connected I mean and uh, surged my first two seams on my leggings as well if I'm not mistaken so I think that's what I'm doing right here um, in this clip I think those are the leggings um, I'm just connecting the um, front and back seams yeah that's what I'm doing right there and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing and I'll do the um, crotch um, on those pants as well So at this point, I'm done um, surging those uh, front and back seams and the uh, inseam, crotch seam, and I'm just gonna check around and see if I missed anything, had any holes, and I was so proud because I had none. That, that was actually my very first pair of leggings I've ever made for anybody uh, besides that doll, and uh, I, I didn't have any um, issues with it. And I love the pattern, so that worked out really well. Um, now I'm going into doing the neckband on the shirt and I was a little afraid but uh, I just took my time and right there you can see I realized I had missed a part on the serger so I went back and I just used my sewing machine um, to uh, fix that little gap right there and um, now it's all attached I'm showing you right there it's all attached and I am now quartering um, my sleeve I mean my neckline I'm quartering it um for the neckband and 
uh, with the raglan, you of course have to um, like divide the shoulders, or at least that's how I do it. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it. I've already quartered the neckband, and you have to um, like divide the, make sure the shoulder of your sleeves is um, like completely in half, and then quarter it. And uh, it's easy to quarter the, or it's easy, it's easy to find the front and back um, center. So that's what I was doing. Uh, I don't know how to explain it any better than that. I'm still, like I said, a beginner, but I did make little um, snips where I quartered it and I'm just matching everything up. And this is the same as the doll, um, the doll outfit. You're going to have to stretch the neckband to fit. If you see the purple stitching there on my um, neckband, that is from where I attached or I put a basting stitch at the raw edges of my neckband just to hold it together so I wouldn't have to worry about one piece slipping you know, out. So I would only have to worry about two pieces of fabric, holding two pieces of fabric together while I sew, um, put the neckband together. And it worked and I went back and removed any visible basting stitches um, later and the fab I'm mean, the thread is purple that's my bobbin thread I didn't feel like changing it to white so you know it's fine um but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and um finish pinning and clipping this um neckband on and then I'm gonna go ahead and sew it together and after I sew it I am gonna serge it to finish those raw edges on the inside and I'm gonna top stitch down uh the seam So I put my neckband in and it looks really nice. I was proud of this one. Like I think this shirt was actually my best one so far. Um, now what I should have done right here is went ahead and removed those basting stitches right now. But instead I just went ahead and finished the raw edges of that um, neckband, that inside of that neckband. And I'm going to do that on my serger. And then once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and top stitch. And then after that, I'll go ahead and remove any visible, um, any of the visible um, basting stitches from where I attach the pieces of the, um, the neckband together. So here I am right here, just removing um, those basting stitches. <laughs> and there's my purple thread. But yeah, um, the shirt is for the most part done. I've gone ahead and top stitched down. Again, that's the back and this is the front. The top stitching is not perfect. Work in progress, okay? <laughs> but uh, it was just for my kid, you know, so I wasn't too um, pressed about it, but yeah. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and turn the shirt inside out so that I can um, go ahead and uh, connect the shirt together uh, by the uh, sleeves and the side seams. And I'm going to use my serger the same as I did pretty much for the majority of this video. 
it's crazy to me how scared I was of that serger in the beginning and now it's like my best friend I use it for everything it saves me so much time like if I had to zigzag stitch like a whole garment like a whole pair of leggings I think I would have a whole a whole attitude so yeah I love my serger now and I'm learning I'm getting much better at it than I was before I'm not scared of it anymore I can thread it with no problem I can change the needle all that good stuff so yeah I'm just gonna use that to um, go ahead and complete this shirt by uh, sewing up the side seams You guys let me know down in the comment section if you have a serger, if you plan on getting one, or if you have one, do you love yours as much as I love mine? Like it's become my favorite tool in my sewing room and uh, I use it Every, I use it majority of the time whenever I'm doing a, a project now don't get me wrong I still love my sewing machine but it is I just have a project runway sewing machine so I am going to save up for a new and better sewing machine so also if you all could give me some um, recommendations for uh, a new sewing machine that would be great as well and let me know how you're enjoying this video anything I can improve on anything you'd like to see in the future I think I'm about a hundred and four subscribers from 500 so it'll be really nice when I get to 500 to be able to communicate with you all a little better through a community tab so I'm excited about that so yeah share this video if you can give it a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already um, and we're just gonna keep on going here like I said I might speed up this part because um, right now I'm just still um, connecting the side clipping the sides together but I might go ahead and speed up the part um, where I finish the rest of this shirt and then move on to whatever it is I do next I can't quite remember So I finished um, serging the shirt together on both sides. I'm going to again check for any holes or any gaps. Um, I'm going to check from the inside and I'm going to check um, turning it right side out just to make sure. But I don't think I got any holes on this one either. So I am definitely getting much better um, at using the serger and keeping everything steady when I'm um, serging. So I'm just checking. You see how closely I'm looking to make sure. <laughs> But yeah, I didn't get any holes and I was really proud of this shirt. I think I even lined up the underarm seams perfectly this time. So I was proud of that as well. So the next thing that I have to do on this shirt, I know I did not hem the arm sleeve, the arms of this shirt. I don't think I even hemmed the bottom of this shirt as well because like I said, the, the fabric doesn't fray. It didn't look too bad. I may go back and hem it later, but uh, I don't honestly think I will, especially if she's just going to wear it as like pajamas or something or something to lounge around the house in. I didn't find it necessary. So here I am just, um, I'm trying to match up the sleeves as best as I can. Um, and I'm going to cut off a little bit because I wanted these to be kind of like three quarter sleeve and I did cut them at the full um, sleeve length. So I'm going to just cut those off a little bit and uh, I just eyeball it. I never really measure anything uh, when it comes to this. I just eyeball it because like I said, these are just practice for me. It's, it's just for my daughter. Of course, if I was selling it or anything, it would be, uh, I would take more time. But yeah, I just did it to the best of my liking. And I'm going to do the same with the bottom. I am going to cut it off a little bit at the bottom uh, at some point in this video. Um, now the next thing I have to do is for the leggings. I'm going to uh, create the uh, waistband just like I did on the doll leggings. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take find whatever uh, elastic I have. I want to say I have maybe some three quarter inch elastic 
and I'm going to um, do that. So now I'm just going to do like I did with the doll leggings. I'm going to fold it over about an inch and I'm going to pin it and I'm not going to make you sit through this part. I'm going to fold over everything and pin it and then feed my elastic through and I will um, be back after I finish that step. Uh, as you can see right here before I made the casing I went ahead and finished the raw edges of the top of the pants and now I'm gonna go ahead and like I said go ahead and sew that together to make the elastic casing Okay, now so I have the um, now that I have the elastic threaded all the way through, I'm just gonna pull it on through. And my daughter has a pretty small waist and hip area. She's like really, really tiny. So even though she is tall and she needs like maybe a size, I think I cut these at a size 10 length. Uh, her waist is between like a six and an eight. So I kind of have to eyeball it with the. Um, elastic and I, I know what size usually works for her so I'll look at it look at the size that I cut that the uh, pattern um, calls for and then if I feel like it's still it's not it's too big or it's not gonna work for her I'll cut some more off which I did cut some more off of this elastic um, uh, before I um, went ahead and sewn it to get sewed it together so that's what I was doing right there and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, sew it all together and um, then I'll be done with these pants because like I said I'm not going to hem them. I am going to go ahead and um, close uh, up the casing, sew up the casing and then I'm going to um, go and just cut off any loose threads and anything like that. Uh, go ahead and cut off or decide to hem the leggings if I decide to do that I'm not quite sure yet but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and do those finishing touches up on uh, both of these garments and then I will show you the finished product here's just a quick look of that um, waistband all finished up I think I did a really good job on it I should have added a tag but I didn't but it's okay um, I'm still proud of how it came out I want to thank you again if you made it this far. Um, this was kind of long and uh, I appreciate you watching. And like I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe or please consider subscribing. Um, I have a lot of good things coming in this new year, a lot of new content. Um, I'm close to uh, four. I'm close to 400. I think I'm about 104 from 500. So once I get to 500, I feel like I'll be able to, you know, communicate a lot better with you guys. Like I said before, but yeah, I will also um, put my Ellie and Mac patterns uh, affiliate link in the description box. So if you like to try out this pattern or any of the other patterns, I will also link them in the description box. Um, all the patterns that I used for this, as well as the fact fabrics if you're interested in it. I'm not sure I can find the orange one, but I will check and see if I'm able to find it. And if I am, I'll link it. But yeah, you guys, um, make sure you like, comment, share this video, and um, I will just let you guys keep watching, but I will see you guys in the next video. I want to say happy holidays, whatever holiday you celebrate, um, and I will see you guys in the new year. Bye guys. Bye.